Welcome back to another episode of Tool Shop, and today I'm going to be starting part two of my hammer making series, the 20 hammers that I started making. I've made two videos on this previously. Part one was forging all 20 of them square. Part 1.5, and that was me attempting to punch the eyes in the power hammer outside. And since then, I've decided to make the hydraulic forging press. So this I have set up right now with a little hammer eye punch and some stripper bars. So let's get the forge hot and start punching some eyes. So this is going to be my first time trying to punch a hammer eye in the hydraulic forging press. Let's get you set up and uh, just pull it out and punch some steel. Under the hydraulic forging press. And all done in one feet too, which is even better. And that is the little slug of it. But that's kind of hot, so. So just finished punching the first hammer ever under the hydraulic forging press. And since I just finished punching number one, I decided to load up the forge with another three billets. And the one billet I screwed up in 1.5. punching the other night that had the, the hole already kind of started so that, although that one was much cleaner than the last one Let's go take another heat on this. 
it's almost there but I'm not happy with how the faces aren't square yet so I just want to take another heat to clean it up I'd rather have good work than fast work I have another four hammers in the forge right now I'm gonna see if I can punch at least three of them because the other one I'm still working on under the power hammer I got the forge going again today. I currently have six two and a half pound billets in the forge right now. The other four are right up there. All six of them are at a nice color. I got the new punch set up. So let's pull out a billet and start working. first hammer with the new punch I made the other day and I gotta say that really opened it up to a great hammer size I look super clean look at that slug so that's the that's from the first side and that's from the second like that is so clean that's amazing all right let's go punch the next billet So far I've gotten six punched with like really nice hammer eyes and I have the other four in the forge right now and they're all just ready to go. Um, I tried putting them in and like taking one of them in putting them out but I got through all these guys much faster than these ones heated up. So all four of them are ready to go. So I started punching some more. Absolutely beautiful with this new punch. I gotta say like I, I Definitely can see where the punch makes a big difference in f like punching these eyes because Like every single one of these that I punch except for one As soon as I pulled it out of here the slug is just falling right down to the ground Which is amazing and I'll show you the slug difference afterwards between the first set with the the skinny punch whereas with this one with a nice big release taper on it 
and these are these are amazing. I'm very glad that I switched. All right, so part two of hammer making is complete. We got the 10 three and a half pounders right there. And we have the 10 two and a half pounders right there. You can really see the difference of the hammer eyes between the three and a half pound billets I use that skinny thin small punch for and the two and a half pounders that like just visually you can really see a difference. So just a small little comparison between the two plugs here. Um, this is a small little crappy one from the three and a half pound billets I was punching. If you can see that, it's not very, it's not very nice or uniform at all. It's all very rugged. Whereas you can really see this one. It this is a bigger plug, but you can really just see the definition of all of it and the uniformness of it. It's amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below, hitting that red button with that bell notification, and give it a big thumbs up. Comment what you thought down below. And for those of you who don't know, I'm going to be selling all 20 of these to just kind of help out with some stuff in the shop and like just kind of support what I'm doing here because I just want to learn how to do this stuff. And you know, what better way to help support what I do than buying a hand forged hammer from me? But Anyways, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Keep forging on.